Um, yeah, this is going to be my review of the 2012 Royal Rumble, the 25th anniversary of it. Yeah, I was watching on the stream. I was going to rent it people and purchase it, but I don't know if they would have let us or not. Because they've like got our bill messed up or something. But, um, yeah, well, we called in anyway, tried to, uh, order it, and, um, said their office was closed, like you're supposed to order it during, the something in the morning to one or something, hell, I don't know. But, um, yeah. I know Daniel Bryan win, but I couldn't see, couldn't see, because it was cutting out, cutting out. Yeah, the stream was messing up and stuff in places, and um, yeah, and I fell asleep during the Kane and John Cena match. Not because it was boring, I just fell asleep. Something hit me in and was trying to stay awake. Then I woke up a little bit after. I don't care about it anyway. Kane should have won and beat John Cena. Hell, Kane and John Cena wasn't even in the Royal Rumble. Like, should have been Kane come out as number 30. You know, even if he'd got eliminated in the Royal Rumble, still it would have been Kane in there instead of Big Show. But, um, yeah, um, yeah, and then they had the Divas match. It wasn't nothing special. And Beth Phoenix and Natalia and Obella twins won. That wasn't nothing special. And over uh, making more of a joke of uh, Drew McIntyre by getting beat by Brutus Clay, the, the Funkasaurus. Drew McIntyre should have been the one run, won the Royal Rumble. Yeah, and then you had, you know, um, CM Punk versus Dolph Ziggler with John Laurinaitis as a referee. I guess the reason John Laurinaitis didn't do nothing because uh, tonight on Raw, he, you know, was getting... Inspected by Triple H, and figured if he'd done anything, so you know Sam Punk picked up the victory and beat Dolph with the go to sleep. Oh yeah, and Vicky Guerrero was made to go to the back during the match, but that's yeah, pretty good match. But. Yeah, and then the Royal Rumble. Yeah, it says on Wikipedia it was 54 minutes, like almost an hour long, the Royal Rumble. Um, yeah, and then you had, you know, your guest returns, Great Collie, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, The Road Dog, Mick Foley, Karma, Jerry King Lawler, Booker T, Michael Cole was all in there. Yeah, that rumor that Sean on Sean Drew Entertainment was talking about went true. There was no Goldberg or Batista or Brock Lesnar in the Royal Rumble, and there was no Undertaker. Yeah, and I thought, you know, that Randy Orton would win it, because I had something planned for him at WrestleMania, maybe him against Daniel Bryan or something. Yeah, and I think it was too obvious, too predictable, Chris Jericho winning, so Seamus won it. Well, I got a video on my channel, if you look back through them, and it's got the link in the description, it's on nodq.com, where it's talked about the possible idea of Seamus versus Mark Henry at WrestleMania. Well, Seamus is sure going to fight somebody at WrestleMania, because he won the Royal Rumble, unless he cashes it in like... John Cena did that one year at uh, the Elimination Chamber. 
Well, I think there was no way out then, though, when John Cena did it. Before they changed the name. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, they said that uh, Big Show's got like 25 eliminations now in the Royal Rumble. Hey, it looked like he'd have more as big as he is. So, yeah, and Kane's never won at the Royal Rumble, people. Never. He's like 13 to 1. 13 losses and a no contest because it was a, like a double count out between John Cena and Kane. Yeah, they've run that whole thing of Kane being reborn or whatever. You know, Kane should have come back and won the Royal Rumble, went to WrestleMania against somebody and become champion. They could at least have gave that to Kane one time, won the Royal Rumble. Maybe he'll win it next year. I mean, yeah pretty good. I want to watch it again where shit ain't cutting out. The Royal Rumble was cutting out too here and there and stuff. Like the stream was playing good and they wanted to fuck up. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll see what happens on Monday Night Raw tonight. And I guess The Undertaker will be returning for long. But, yeah, I guess Hacksaw Jim Duggan, you know, he came back because of being anniversary of 25 years of him winning the first ever Royal Rumble. But, um, yeah, I guess that's all I got to say, baby. Take care. Bye.